sorry. Let me talk about fear, right? I recently did some work with uh, Dr. Linda Shaw, renowned neuroscientist. Get me, name dropper. Uh, Dr. Linda Shaw is a bang up to date, current thinking neuroscientist, cutting edge right on the front line of modern neuroscience and what's right and what's wrong in relation to all things brain. And she, she told me this fantastic fact around how the difference between an emotion and a feeling. You see, I've never thought about that, have you? What is the difference between an emotion and a feeling? And she, she suggests that an emotion is something that's fleeting, sort of in 20 seconds it can change, whereas an emotion, sorry, a feeling is when it's more intense and lasts longer and has more of an impact, be it psychologically, emotionally, or physically or mentally. Now, fear, depending upon your own definition, basically it's a threat of danger, pain, or harm to you. So anytime we feel a threat of danger, pain, or harm, we tend to begin to feel afraid. Notice I said feel. <laughs> you see, I say whenever there's a threat. You see, how many times has there been a threat of something to you, but then it hasn't happened, or nowhere near as badly happened as we assumed it would? Mm. Isn't it true, 95% of the time, the things we get most stressed about, when they happen, actually we deal with them reasonably well? Because isn't it true that we're better than we think we are? So, some pretend that they're not afraid. You know, these are the people who put on a good show, but you know inside they're crumbling. They're afraid of being laughed at. They're afraid of failing in public. They're afraid of looking stupid. Every one of us have got different fears. Some of us have got a fear around poverty and money. Some of us have got a fear around relationships, uh, perceived violence or bullying. Some of us got a, a fear of presenting in public face to face or um, meeting people online or fear of technology. Um, I still can't do a spreadsheet. <laughs> However, if we use any of these things to make another person feel afraid, well, that's cowardly on our part. And actually, even though none of us would assume we do it, sometimes we do it more often than we think we do. You see, the truth is in the eye of the receiver, not the giver of information. And I remember in my early days of presenting in schools to young people how when I was really on my A-game, sometimes I'd go over the top and some young people would actually say, whoa, you're scary. And I was going, no, really? Because that was the last thing I wanted. But I was so, because I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a big guy, um, I was I was like a bit overbearing a little bit. And that intimidated some people. Now that wasn't my intent, but that's what they saw and heard and experienced. So that's how they felt. That was true for them. So I needed to modify my delivery to make sure that when I was going a bit over the top, actually it was very obvious that I'm just having a laugh. And do you know what? No one said I'm scary for ages now. So what's, tr what's true for you today? For some people, as I said, they're afraid of giving a presentation in public. So if I was to ask you to stand next to me here and give a talk five minutes long on um, fiscal policy and the economy for the next 10 years globally, you may or may not be able to do it confidently. You might bluff it or you might be so scared that you'll be physically sick in the toilet. You see, fight or flight kicks in, and that's where the when we have a perceived threat, pain, danger, that our body releases chemicals into the bloodstream, enabling us to stand and deliver or run as quickly as possible away from the pain or danger or perceived threat. But if we don't deal with that chemical rush, then we begin to shut down, our body locks down to deal with those chemicals. We begin to procrastinate and do nothing rather than do something. In a previous video, I talked about the mountaineer, the world-renowned mountaineer, Nigel Vardy. He says, keep making decisions. If you don't make decisions, you'll die on a mountain. So reach out, get some help, and work with what's true 95% of the time, which is you're better than you think you are. Overcome your fear, step up, step out, and take back control. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click the TV to watch the next video. Oh, and don't forget to visit our website at davidheiner.com to claim your free audiobook. Until the next time, go Rhino. Have in it.